everyone, this is Sailor and Iris. I know, a long time no video, and I apologize in advance for the crappy lighting. Uh, and first thing I want to address is something that you guys can all see that are different that have been watching my video for a while, is my hair. Yes, it has been cut uh, short, pretty short, because it was pretty long before. But that out of the way, let's talk dollies. Uh, I have made this video a few times, and it got really, really long. So I'm going to cut it into what I was going to originally talk about was some updates and characters that I want for some new stories that I came up with that I want to shell. However, this video will just be updates and I will do the character thing in another video. So let's start with this girl, Iris. Uh, she is looking more and more like the character I want her to be, which is good. Because uh, before she did, I mean, at least in the face, she definitely did. Um, and that is why I chose to take the doll that I had and from, or the character away from this doll that I had originally wanted her to do and give I, make her Iris. But clothing-wise, she's starting to look more and more like the character I had in mind. Uh, first thing is this flannel overshirt which I made out of an old pair of pajamas that were falling apart. Um, they weren't very good quality pajamas. The fabric wasn't, so they ripped really easily. Um, luckily though, it's good enough to make doll clothing out of. It's kind of tattered a little bit. Uh, and then I made this blue uh, tank top, which you can't really see that is a tank top, um, out of a old dress that I didn't like the top of so I just cut off the bottom and made a skirt instead of a dress so I used the top to make this out of just recycled doll clothing everywhere <laughs> um, it's full of holes jagged and raggedy and I don't know if you can see this the lighting isn't that great it's distressed with chalk pastels very grungy very her style I had stated in a earlier video that her and the other characters that I haven't shelled that are Miss Emily students, uh, their story is set in the late 90s, early 2000s. So if that tells anyone anything about the style, she is definitely dresses like a skater punk, very grungy, very... Like she hasn't washed her clothes in months, you know, that kind of style. Um, however, she is not a skater at all. The girl has never touched a skateboard. Uh, and if she tried to skate, uh, tried to skateboard, she would fall flat on her butt. Uh, it's just the style she likes, that art, that aesthetic, um, you know, and it's got her called a poser more than once so yeah that is her updates let me put her over here next one is i got a new art doll um this would be the third one that i have um his name is grable he does have a name now um he is a um, dragon type drakeling, I believe is the term. I don't remember the Etsy shop I got him from, but I will leave a link down below. Um, let's show his little face. He was just too cute and I could not resist. Uh, I do believe the Etsy seller has a few more of these in various different colors. But yeah. He has been hanging out with Thresh and the other little art dolls that I have. Um, but I don't think he belongs to Thresh. I think he actually is a pet slash doodle creature of a character, my character Ebby, who is not shelled yet. She is um, one of my other Miss Emily's um students or one of the other Miss Emily students that I have um and she I, I believe I've mentioned her before in a previous video um 
she her power is that she one she loves to draw and she can sometimes make the thing she draws come out of the um out of the paper and it's usually creatures kind of like this or kind of you know sometimes doodle just doodle bobs um however i think this little guy may may come out she may be able to summon him more than once and he may stick around um quite a bit like usually when she draws something and it comes out it'll go right back onto the piece of paper and erase itself however this little guy doesn't i believe so i'm pretty sure he will belong to abby i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure that's it in other news uh related to art dolls uh give me just one second and i will be okay i'm back uh with this guy who didn't really have a name before but he does now i have named him atlas and he is definitely thrushes because i wasn't 100 percent sure about that before but yes he is thrushes mount so yeah that is all of the updates i have for now uh i'm going to go and probably make another video about the characters and stuff all right so bye